Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four Nine and Five, and today we're going to be continuing Episode Five of our Classic Farming Sim Let's Play. <laughs> So yes, this is episode 5 of our classic farming sim let's play. If you've not seen any of the previous episodes, I'll leave a link to a playlist down in the description. If you want to start from the beginning and watch us build up to the farm. We've done quite a lot of stuff on this farm already. This is probably going to be the last episode I do on this classic farming sim series for a little while. Because I think you guys are getting a little bit fed up of it. And honestly, I want to go and play something else as well. So um, let me know in the comments though if you want me to make more videos on this classic farming sim series in the future or whether it's something that you're not that interested in. Let me know down there or leave a like on the video. Um, but yeah, if you are new to the channel, we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So if you want to help us out with that, leave a like on the video or a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, what have I been doing off camera? Because I have been doing quite a lot of stuff. Well, firstly, I went ahead and harvested that field that we uh, that I had finished growing in the last episode. Um, I also went ahead and harvested the field that we hay timed in episode three and dumped that all in the silo bunker. And I've also flattened out the silo bunker and let the um, grass ferment now so we have silage and I've also put some straw down for our cows so they have something to eat to make manure now so we have natural fertilizer we don't need to use the uh, till spreader we can just use the uh, muck spreader now which is much better and as you can see in front of us I've also got some new machinery right here so we've got this water trailer here because today we're going to be focusing on the animals. So we've got all the ingredients now. We've got straw. I've already bedded them down. We've got silage and hay now to make mixed rations. And we've also got this water trailer here. So we can get them producing milk and wool. So we're going to be filling that up with some water and feeding them later. I've also gone ahead and um, bought this mixer here. Now... I know this is a classic farming sim series we're trying to use all classic machinery i couldn't find any mods that had classic mixes on them so i've got this little mixer it's kind of the closest thing i could find so um, i'm sure you can appreciate that in one of the previous episodes i went and stacked all these bales in here a bit nicer just off camera so they look a lot better in there but we're going to just dump this in here and then we're going to head down to the silage heap and put some silage in there and we're basically going to try and uh, build up um, or you know feed our animals today that is what we're going to be doing so it's kind of a recap video what i've been doing off camera as well as um you know sort of ending the series just for a little while i might pick it up again so I just wanted to show you this page. We've not really discussed this yet because we've been focusing on other things, trying to get the farm up and running. But now we're focusing on our animals. So we do need to have a look at this animal page. You can see here, I've got 64 sheep and we've got 38 cows. So um, I've gone ahead and um, uh, bedded the cows down on some straw. You can see on the top right there it says straw 35,000 liters so they're all bedded down nicely now and you can see in the food area there I've already gone ahead and put a few mixed rations in there but we're going to be topping it up today and then we're going to be leaving that for a little while and we're also going to be feeding our sheep so sheep need grass and hay and our cows need mixed rations so we're going to be first, uh, we'll do the cows first. Um, we are here at the silage heap. And this is another little new implement I've purchased for our 135 here. We've now got a bucket. 
or like a, a shovel loader, whatever you want to call it, because we need to scrape up our silage. The silage has fermented, as you can see. So we've already got one bale in there. We've got a hay bale in there. We're going to pour some silage in here now. There we go. We're going to need seven of these bucketfuls of silage. So that's one bucket. I'll go ahead and speed up the other ones and then we'll take a look at feeding the cow. Okay, so there we go. There's still a little bit of silage in that bucket there, but that is our trailer full. So we'll just go ahead and turn that off for a second. If we jump back in the John Deere, you can see there we got 14,000 litres of total mix rations, and you can see um, it's in the mixing ratio. It has to be about 50% of each, which is roughly what we've got. It's not exactly, but it is still mixed, mixed rations, so we can get some lovely milk out of our cows is absolutely super so we'll go ahead and uh, dump this now in the cow pen we've not really seen much of the animal side of this farming sim let's play yet so here we go at the animal pen uh, or this is a cow as i should say we've got some straw down here i showed you i dumped that off camera and then we just drive on into this uh, little enclosure here and this is where we're going to dump our food for the cows so um, I think we have to actually go in here when I did it before I had to actually go in here a little bit and there we go and it's going to come out of that side and empty down into this little sort of feed trough you can see it slowly fills up it does take a long time because you have to do multiple mixes to fill it right up but we'll just go ahead and let that unload and then we'll have a look at our animal um, thing here we go down to cows you can see their total mixed rations is now at 43,000 litres so we're not even half full yet I'd say maybe about a third full so I'll go ahead and fill this up now and then in a minute we'll go ahead and move on to the sheep all right, so I've done three more mixes. You can see now we're up to 85,000 litres. It's still in the orange, but I think that's enough for now. Um, that's quite a lot of mixed rations, and they're not going to eat that that quickly. So that is our cows sorted for now. Um, we're going to move on to the sheep and deal with their food. Now, sheep take grass and hay. I don't have any grass available. We have got hay and silage, so I'm just going to give them pure hay. Um, it's not going to be grass, it's just going to be hay. And then we need to just go ahead and fill up the water. So I'll head up to the shed and we'll load up the mixer with some bales. Alright, so we're just going to grab two hay bales. We can fit two hay bales into the mixer and um, then we'll take this down to the sheep. I will do one um, sort of normal speed and then I think we'll do about five loads probably and I will speed the rest of those up because it's just literally me loading bales into this mixer and taking them down to the sheep. So not too exciting but I want to show you like what I'm actually doing in these episodes so um, yeah we'll just go ahead and do that we'll scoop another bale up here so there's seven seven and a half thousand litres each these bales um, which is actually quite a lot if you split one of these bales up so if you put one of these in the mixer and like spread it out it's actually quite a lot of uh, hay when you see how much it produces but there we go you can see that is full to the top now with just hay we've got 14,000 litres of hay in there we'll take this down to the sheep now because um, we've not really dealt much with the sheep so the sheep are just down here to the left and I think we just park over this thing here and um, yeah then we hit R1 and triangle and then you can see there on the right hand side 
that will fill up and um, we might not need as many trips um, as we do with the cows we'll have a look now once this empties out how much that has actually filled up but I think it might have filled quite a lot of it up in fact we only probably need about one more trip it's filled 14,000 litres up there I think I'll just go ahead and do one more trip and uh, then we'll get on to filling the water up okay so just unloading the second load now let's have a look how much that has filled up and there we go we're already into the green so we could fill it right up but I mean two loads is close enough so all we have left to do now you can see the water there is at zero litres for the sheep and for the cows so we've got that new water trailer and we have got a water tank so let's go ahead and fill up the water for both animals so here we are we've got this water tank um, that I purchased off camera and just down the back of here we've actually got like a water butt so we can go ahead and fill this trailer up so we just park next to it hit L3 and you can see in the bottom right there it has started filling with water so it takes a little while and then we'll go ahead and head over to the animal pen and actually just unload it there we'll probably have to do a few trips to be honest but there we go that is the thing fully loaded it's got 7300 liters in there so quite a lot of water um actually it's not a small amount Right, so here we are down at the cow pasture, we'll just hop out of there. We actually have to go into the pasture here to fill this up. Um, so we'll just go around these cows and I believe the water trough is just over there. And we just park next to it and it should just fill this with water. So this is the trough here and if we just park next to it there we go you can see it's slowly filling up we'll probably have to do a few trips um, but then our cows will have something to drink and then they will actually start producing manure they'll start producing uh, milk and they'll also start producing slurry so we can spread that on the field which is absolutely great because it means we don't have to um, buy any fertilizer so that's saving us a little bit of uh, money there so I'll just go ahead and shut this gate again and let's have a look now at our cows how they are doing so water you can see um, I'm probably gonna have to do about four trips probably for each animal so I'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit and then we'll move on to the sheep in a minute So there we go, let's just have another look at our cows, how they're doing now. I've done four trips of water as you saw there. Uh, we've got 29,000 litres, we're in the greens, it's almost full there. So not going to bother filling it right up. So our productivity of cows is at 99%. It can go right up to 100 but that is good enough for me. And now we just need to go ahead and deal with our sheep so um they're in the pen just next to us here and their water trough is just there so i'll do this bit off camera i'll just go ahead and do four trips for the sheep and then we'll check back in a minute and see how everything is going okay so um for whatever reason i'm not sure why the sheep aren't taking as much water to fill so i've done one load of water so far 
Um, I've got this second load ready here to unload, but you can see I'm parked in the box and it's not letting me unload it. We've only put 7,000 litres in there and it's already over half full. So a little bit strange, I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, the sheep productivity you can see there is at 99%. So they're going to start producing wool at a good rate. So that's pretty much all i wanted to do in today's video we've gone ahead and fed and watered our animals so they are going to start producing wool and milk which in the next episode we'll probably go and sell some of that but that next episode probably isn't going to be for a little while as i mentioned at the start of this video you guys have got a little bit fed up of watching these i think and i've honestly well, I've not got fed up of making these videos, but I want to move on to play something else for a little bit and then revisit this series sometime in the future. So, as I said at the start, if you enjoy this series, then do let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more of them. Um, if you're not enjoying it, also let me know because obviously these videos are for you guys to watch. So, I want to know what kind of games you want me to play let me know down there in the comment section but that's going to do it for today's video thanks all so much for watching hope you did enjoy if you did smash the like button and subscribe we are trying to reach a thousand subs and i will see you all in the next video